good morning from the island. It's just after 5.30 in the morning. Just got up early. <coughs> Gosh, my eyes look red. Um, I'm going to shoot down to the beach bar. That's kind of like where you go every day when you want to do something. So I'm going to shoot down there and see if there's any boats going out. Lefts is looking... Oh no, it looks okay, but they were talking about going to cloud break this morning, so I think it's really small out there, so we might be able to surf or even just watch. I'm going to shoot down there now and see what's happening. There might be some early boats. I think we're gonna wait because it's still it's really close to low it's going low so they reckon you want to surf either side of low or high there's nothing at pools we might go out to left it's not as big as yesterday but it'll be really good and it's just out there so probably just go have some bricky and then um just wait, wait for the tide, then we'll try again. Okay, it's surf time. It's about 8.30, I think 8.30ish, and we are just getting suited. The tide's a bit bigger. Surf suit on, max sink. It's about 30 to 34 degrees. There's Dave. We're heading down to the beach to sort a boat and we're going to go to left this morning. So we'll take you out there. Yeah. So Dave's going to come long boarding this morning. He is. Ooh, and now we're in the boardroom and we are selecting boards. I think I normally ride this one. And um, he's going to take a log out as well. So we are staying in the Love Shack and it's quite a big bureau. We overlook Namotu Lefts, but every villa here, I think, I think um, there's 11 villas or 11 bureaus. Um, every one is on the beach, so it's really nice. So this is our one. We have a big double bed. Um, desk, but I think if you had kids they would put um, another bed in on the kid week. Lots of storage for all your things. And then our balcony. So nice. In the afternoons we've been having 
We have some drinks sitting out here. We've got this to dry all our things. We look right out on no, no motor lifts. So yeah, and then at the back, we have a little toilet in there, and then a bathroom and a shower. But yeah, well equipped, equipped and it's so nice. Going out for another surf. <coughs> it's going back out to the left and we're all going to longboard again. It's about three foot. We think it's just gone offshore and mid-tide, so um, yeah. Be perfect. So I'll give you a quick little rundown on the island. So this is Namotu. We, everyone comes in on a Sunday and everyone leaves on a Sunday so you can only come here for the seven days. Um, there's, I think there's 11 bureaus, maybe 22 people and what feels like two or three staff to every guest. Um, they have, it's all inclusive so all your meals and then you just have to pay for the alcohol and a few other bits and pieces if you want high performance gear. But most people bring, um, if they're short boards, everyone seems to bring their own short boards. Like Dave brought his own boards. Um, I didn't bring my long board, it's just too hard to travel with, but they have so many boards to choose from, heaps of long boards. Actually no one with long boards brought them. And then, um, yeah, they have set times for food, surf guides, fishing guides, every time you go out. You can basically do whatever you want, you just have to arrange it and then someone will go with you into the water. If we can go snorkeling on Tavarua, any of the islands, we can visit Cloud Nine, foiling, kiting, fishing, surfing, really just anything, wakeboarding, wake surfing. It's really just like a waterman's dream. What else about the island? Yeah, food's amazing. Food's amazing. Food's just like probably the best. I've had amazing holiday. Amazing holiday. It's like 31 I, degrees, but it feels like, I said it feels like 38 or 39 degrees. Like it's seriously hot. The water's 30. Yeah, the water's 30. We've been surfing like two it's times a day. Boiling. Yeah, that's Good pretty time much the island. There's two pools. Um, it's adults only most of the year, but they have a few kid weeks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the lowdown. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the Fijian people here are amazing. Like, they are the nicest people. I got on the, I got on the wrong oh, side. Yes, I'm available. They do, um... A vlog? No, they do snacks at the bar. And you come down and have a couple of drinks, everyone, and some snacks before you go to dinner. So this is not real time. We've actually been to Cloud Nine. Oh, you can see the shadow. And then we've come back on the boat. And then we've got Fiji and night tonight, so that's what we're up Banaka. to. So it's really busy. It's so fun and the food here honestly is so good.